Hey guys, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video, I'm actually going to go over diamond service grading. Diamond service grading is similar to uh, something like PSA. It's a grading service that is much less well known. And the reason I'm going to go over it is because you know a lot of people are looking to these kinds of services right now. And I haven't done many reviews in the past on um, the smaller companies that are out there. However, I do believe from what I can see, this seems to be a pretty uh, decent quality service that they're offering. And I want to go over with um, you guys a submission that's not mine. It's actually somebody else's. I didn't realize this company even existed. Somebody reached out to me. He actually had his submission sent to me. He has two cards that he's going to give away to those of you who are watching this video. We'll probably do it, say, you know, out of the comments. We'll do some kind of random comment selector. So maybe make a comment down there in the description about you know your favorite card or questions that you have because I'll tell you the guy who was over this stuff, he's watching this video. I was actually able to reach out to him. He gave me his own business card. And he's actually got a coupon code for you guys too if you want to try. I'm going to give this uh, company a try. I'm going to show you guys how to do it uh, near the end of this video. But I reached out to him. I had all these questions. He talked to me. Some of the questions he didn't know, he, he bring up you know, the people in his company that would know the information. He gave me a call back. And it was really uh, refreshing you know, to have somebody who's at the top of a company who's willing to get in there, answer these questions, whether we like them or not, and, you know, just get back to me. So that was really nice. Like I said, it was very refreshing. And I'll tell you, the uh, the quality of the grades on these cards seem uh, overall pretty consistent from, you know, this is only one order. I mean, don't get me wrong. This isn't, you know, millions of cards or anything like that. But I like the cases, and they actually offer a few perks uh, along with their grading services that um, even PSA doesn't have yet. So let me show you guys, you know, some cards. So like, for example, we've got this Venusaur right here and it's graded a nine. You know, we kind of look at it, you know, that front, I mean, the front looks flawless. I'm sure if we looked hard enough, we could find something. But what I like about this, I mean, if you look at this, I mean, this is a really nice label in my opinion. Um, the Venusaur, the name of the card, you know, kind of being the top, stand out, bigger font. But you still get what you need to here. The year, the set, the number, and then there's a rarity right there. You still got a serial number right there, which we'll address that here in a little bit because I had a few questions about the serial numbers. And then you have the grade, Mint 9. And then if you look at the back, you can actually see a QR code scanner. We're going to scan that in. I'm going to show you what it shows. I like the fact that, you know, that it's hollow full. You can kind of see it on the front too. And they actually have different designs for this that you can pick from. I believe it does cost a little bit more for certain designs, but there are options for more of them. You know, looking here on the back side, what immediately stuck out to me, I saw a little white dot here. And then, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of whitening on these other, on maybe that corner there. And so, what's cool about this uh, scanner right here, let's see if I can get something. I don't want to scan that one. Oh, there we go. I'm not great with these things. All right, so if you scan that QR code thing, well, I definitely don't want QuickBooks. I'm gonna, it gives you a link, and you open it up in a browser. Hopefully, you guys can see this. And what's cool is it takes you directly to its own little page where it can confirm what the card is. It has a scan of the front. I believe the scans are additional, like 2 bucks or something like that, but it's a nice option to have. And then it gives you a grade report. So if you're looking at the front, gives you four grades per zone. So I guess zone one would be like right here, zone two, you know, so forth. And actually, I'm seeing, so it's saying that nothing was docked in any of the four zones on the front. So the front would be a 10. It even gives you the centering, see back, 45, 45. And on the back side, it looks like it docked it. This, this zone here says this one was good. We, I thought I saw a little bit of whitening, but this is saying that nothing was docked on the corner. This side over here, it actually says one of the corners was docked. I didn't even see that one. And then the bottom, we like we definitely saw that one, that white dot right there. It was docked a point. And then over here it says it was docked one point on the edge. You see that right there? So let's look at the edge. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it right there because I don't see it anywhere else. So I thought that was really neat that they had this option. And then it has the grade, the ID, the date it was graded, and it also has a scanned image of the back. So honestly, that right there, to me, that was the coolest feature that I had saw. But, and I believe you can get it with all of them. And maybe we'll look at another card as we go through these, see if we see one that's a little bit lower grade. So we've got a Kabutops here, that's 9.5. Got a Magnemite Reverse. 
There's an Espeon. We've got two Espeons there in a 10. Check that out. Mr. Mime, an 8. Psyduck, 8. Maybe we'll look at the Psyduck if we don't see anything uh, too low. Got a Houndoom. There's an 8. 8.5. 8.5, 9, and now if some of you are noticing that these serial numbers are kind of crazy, like it's 47 million, 59 million, you know, 9 million, I had talked to him about that, I was like, you know, a lot of people want to have sequential certs, and the way they do it, they actually randomized some of the, like the first four or five digits or something like that, but the last four digits are in sequential order, so like if you did submit through a middleman, it would still come back, you know, in that order, you can see right there, there's like number 6, See number five, number four, and then the other ones are randomized. Now this is not my submission again. This is somebody else's. What we did, what, he, he reached out to me again on Instagram, and then he said, "I'm sending the submission to you. Once you give away a few free things." And we actually uh, talked about some different stuff that's going on um, with this particular grading company. I like the fact that tens are attainable, but they're not, you know, it's super easy. If you guys have noticed, a lot of times, if you're dealing with companies that are less well known, then the 10 is usually really easy to get because they're trying to please their customers. And really, if you want to build a company like a grading company, then really what you need is consistency. So I'm hoping that that's exactly what we're seeing here because I really like the case. It seems very sturdy, it seems heavier than a PSA case, but it's like the same size seems to be the same size we're pretty close to it but you know you could tell it's not low quality and I think they actually go into the layers um, here and some information that was sent so there's a 10 right there on that Pichu I'm gonna check out that Espeon a little bit closer there's a Groudon got Sableye you said, hey, these cards are pretty good got a Latios, got a Blaziken, Deoxys Ooh, that's a nice one, the Rayquaza. I don't see any print lines on it either. It's a good looking card. What else do we have here? Got a Cubone. There's Mighty Yenna. Azumarill. Got an Eevee. The Ditto Charmander. The Ditto Geodude. Gardevoir. Tyranitar. And then another Tyranitar there. And then they actually sent some back. These were the no grade. They were the back stamp errors, which we we know that these are legit. But you know, from what he told me, if they thought if they didn't know for sure or they were uneasy about grading card, they would just send it back. Um, so like even if they thought a card was authentic, if they couldn't for sure, you know, say put their name behind it, then um, then they wouldn't grade them. So they sent these back. Now the two cards that are being given away are the Metagross and the Porygon 2. And since this is the lowest graded one that I can see right here, we'll scan this one in and see where it was marked down for points. Before we do that, I want to check out this Espeon because this thing was a 10. And honestly, it looks pretty nice. The only thing I see a little bit off on it is the centering, which on the front side looks good. On the back side is a little off, but I think I was reading through their grading descriptions. And let me see if I can X out of this. Close. And I believe the back centering isn't as harsh as the front centering. Like the front needs to be 55, 45 or something like that. But I think the back could be a little farther off. But let's look and see what it says. So this actually says nothing was marked off on the front. And then it had one piece marked off on the back, which was the edge zone 8. But I guess just one little piece. Yep, you can see it right there. I mean, we missed it. But I guess one point is just fine. I wonder, I'm not sure what the the leniency is on how they um, go from a 9.5 to a 10. So let me close out of this. Let's do the Porygon 2. This thing is really convenient, just super easy to use. So this was given a 6. If you look at the front, it says this zone up here looks like it was docked 3 points on the surface. One on the surface, one on the surface. So the surface is what hit this one. I can't really tell myself. But it's got a lot of glare too on this phone. And then the back side looks like it was docked two points in zone five. Four points in zone six. Two here, one there. So I guess that's how I end up getting the six. It'd be interesting to see like how many points you got to lose before 
you go down a certain point if it's based on different zones because like this one lost a maximum of four points on surface over here on the back side it lost three points on corner and two points on edges so the worst I guess the lowest it had was a six on the back and the same thing on the front well you lost five points on surface on the front but then it was tens on everything else so maybe because it was a, a, a five surface on the front and a I guess that'd be a six surface on the back, but everything else was tens. It brought it up to the sixth grade. And my logic could be way off on that, but it's it's still good to know like where they're docking you those points because I don't think any other grain company really does that. Or at least the big ones don't, not that I know of. They kind of give you little subgrades, but I mean this is a whole nother level. Alright, so I'm gonna get out of this. Alright guys, so next one I want to talk about is the turnaround time. So from what I was told, he told me that they have been ahead or on time for every single order so far. So if you submit, you know, this card ungraded on a 30-day submission, then I guess you're gonna get it back in 30 days or less. I'm not sure if that's business days or how that works, but even if it was business days, I mean, you're talking about something way faster than what's available right now with most of the really big grading companies that are out there. And he also said it was scalable. I don't know how scalable that would end up being. I mean, once you start getting into you know, thousands or millions of cards, you know, it gets really tough. But you know what? You know, he says it's scalable, so. I'm going to give it a shot. Like I'm going to send some cards in myself. Like I said, we're going to do a submission at the end of this video, and I'm just going to see what happens. He said he's open to customer feedback, good or bad, and I'll tell you what, I mean, he lived that out when he talked to me on the phone. I really appreciated that. And he said they're working on stuff like set registries and different things like that, but you know, it's just going to take time, I think. You know, you've got to get, gain a customer basis. What's cool about these is, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, PSA graded slabs, they're not UV resistant or protected at all. He said his are, like they have UV uh, protection installed on these cards. So that's a, an added feature. I believe BGS is, is is as well, but I'm not completely sure on that, so don't quote me with BGS, but he definitely said that theirs are. So your card is UV protected, so you're not, you don't have to be worrying about you know some sunlight hitting your card if you have it out on display. Although I will say, err on the side of caution with that. You don't want to put anything that's translucent, translucent in direct sunlight because while things can be protected, they're not like impervious to sunlight. UV light is really rough on stuff, and um, protection is always a great step to have. That way you can display stuff, but. That doesn't mean go take your, your Ditto PSA Mint 9, set it out in the sun, and leave it out there for a year on end. Still protect your collectibles. Don't you know, be sensible about something like that. And then um, next up, what I want to show you guys is he actually has a code for you. So there's the coupon code. You get $5 off each card grade, and this expires at the end of June. So I would go ahead and use this if you plan on trying them out, because $5 off per card, I mean... I mean, that's a pretty big code, and right now I believe their lowest service is $25, so that would knock it down to $20, and I don't know if you can double apply with the 100 plus order. I saw where if you submit over 100 cards, they knock it down $5, so uh, they may just be, you know, off of, you know, standard orders, you know, non-bulk, but yeah, I'd give it a try. You know, who knows, maybe you could put in 100 cards and it knocks it down, you know, $5, and then another $5, but give them a try. I'm going to give them a try. I mean, there's really no reason not to. I mean... Don't expect, you know, like a, a DG, DSG 10 to bring the premium that a PSA 10. Well, just because PSA has been in the market so long, they've established a lot of stuff. You know, I want to be clear on that. You know, these will most likely bring a, a lower premium on almost any card that you would submit there. So uh, don't don't let it be a card where it has to hit a PSA 10 or it breaks the bank. And so if, when you do get them back, you might have to sell them for a lower price. However, the fact that you have them back at all or a year in advance could be uh, much more beneficial than sending it to PSA where you have to wait a year or two years. Where you might not even be able to submit it because it's so expensive. Um, so I think this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go through the submission process right after this. Hey guys, so here we are at the site, dsggrading.com. I've already clicked the submit at top, but you know, if you're at the home page, you just hit submit and then it brings you right here. So if you go down here, they have four options. You've got the standard, which is 30 days, express, 14 day, you have authenticate, and then you also have a crossover. I'm just gonna do the standard because I wanna test it out, see how it is. And I'm gonna do the special delivery Pikachu. 
So what you have to do is you have to come in here and you fill out each field, which if you're familiar with PSA, this is a nightmare. They actually have a drop down menu where you can select it and it's already got like its own spec. But the more information you type in, the less likely it is that you're going to find that card because it actually expands the results instead of you know, narrowing them down. And you normally have to start with the year. I mean, you enter in the year here first. And then uh, Beckett is just, that one's even worse. So uh, I kind of like being able just to enter it in and be simple like that. But it could be kind of tedious if you're entering in a lot of cards. But uh, the year's 2020, Pokemon. The set is Sword and Shield Black Star Promos. Um, if you don't know the set, you can always look it up on Bulbapedia. Card number 74. This is Special Delivery Pikachu. There's no variation. I'm going to declare $200 as the value. The five that I sent in, uh, these were all sealed. Um, I cracked them open myself and I put them in a card saver. And I was going to send them to the PSA, but now that basically any service where that would work... Um, they're gone. I can't. It's either I wait or I submit later. So I'm going to submit five that I have. Uh, just see how it works out here. Now this uh, has an option for custom labels. You can see right there where it has plus two dollars more. I think that's where it changes up the the top title part. I'm going to just choose none. I want to see what it is, and then um, yeah, because I, I don't even I, I don't think that other one was the the, the regular one. It kind of looked like a maybe a gaming one honestly, but it'd be neat if. I would I would think it'd be neat if they had like some picture like a picture here or if you hovered over it and like it popped out a picture of what the different labels is or what labels are they probably have you know a space on their site that shows those different labels however for me if you I think the upsell would go through a lot better if it was you know you could immediately see it when you're going through checkout because I guarantee you that submit button that's probably going to be the one that gets hit the most where people are checking out all right I have five of them I'm going to add them to cart. Okay, so they're there. All right, I'm going to go to my cart. See it there. All right, so here's where we can apply the coupon code. And that's this one right here. It says $5 off each card grade eBay code. I'm not sure what the eBay code part is. Maybe they got something going on with eBay. But it says $5 off each card grade. Uh, however, when I do apply it, it... Uh, did I type it in? X F four E Z Z J Y R. Maybe I need all caps. Okay, so it applied. Um, you can see right here it actually took five dollars off, but it didn't actually take it off for each uh, card grade. So the way I'd read it, I thought it meant that it took the price from twenty-five to twenty, you know, or thirty-five to thirty, or whatever you did on each one that you submitted. But it's actually just once. I guess maybe it was saying for each submission you get five dollars, you know, off the total submission. But either way, still a pretty cheap service, and I'm going to try it out and see how it goes. All right, so I've got the shipping selected, and then I proceed to check out. All right, so we're back to uh, we're below the details now. I'm at the insurance. I selected the one to one thousand because I put the value at two hundred dollars for the five cards, so that's one thousand dollars. Yeah, I guess this is where you review your order, you see the coupon there, you see the shipping, the insurance. So my total is $147 for the five cards. More information that I have to put in this personal, so another cut. What was really nice, you guys didn't see this part, but I entered in my payment information and they let me pay. So that is a big plus. I have a real issue with PSA and Beckett not charging me until right before they grade my cards or right after they grade the cards, the fact that the, I can go ahead and pay up front means that I don't have to worry about, you know, a year's worth of orders every single week, you know, on a credit card that they haven't charged yet. Or in, worse, in, some, in some cases, your card actually expires during the time that you're waiting for them to charge it. So this is really cool. So I'm actually at the printout page right now. Uh, you can see all that information. They charged me $147. And yeah, there it is. They actually charged me, so that's really good. I really like that. Um, that's definitely a plus, in my opinion, uh, for this um, for DSG. But I'll let you know how these five special delivery Pikachu's turn out. I'll have it in another video, and I hope you guys learned a little something. Feel free put your questions down here in the description. Let the guy know that um, you you've got questions for him. Because he's going to be looking. He's going to be checking out this video. I already told him that I'd send him a link to it. And he was very responsive uh, when I had asked him questions before. Thanks.